Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. This one is from a company called WeBoost. Uh, the name of the product is called the Echo. And what this is, is a uh, cell phone booster. And uh, the cool thing is, is it works with uh, all carriers, supports all phones, and covers up to 1,200 square feet. And it only takes five minutes to set it up. And uh, it says uh, you can get up to 30% uh, better uh, cellular coverage indoors. And it tells you uh, how to set everything up. And this one comes with the um, optional outdoor antenna. As you can see right here where it tells all the stuff that comes in the box. Uh, this here is actually your booster that sets in the window. This one set, this is an indoor uh, antenna where it distributes the signal throughout the house. And then this little thing here is the optional uh, outdoor antenna that you mount um, on your window or on the side of your house and then it comes with the cable and then your power adapter um, I'm not gonna go through all the super specific stuff and all nerd out on you and all this stuff but uh, I'll just give you a quick rundown of how I've got mine set up the video I'm gonna try to make it as fast as possible and just show you how I have mine uh, rigged up and uh, this here is the actual booster and so the booster needs to be pointing, the shiny part needs to be pointing in towards your house. And the flat uh, finished part needs to be pointed out towards your tower. And for me, uh, it's perfect because my cell tower is right over there in that direction. You can see on top of that guy's house way over there is a... Uh, a power pole sticking up that's in the exact direction of the uh, Verizon tower that I'm shooting for and uh, I'm showing you uh, right now with the optional antenna disconnected I just disconnected it uh, just a few minutes ago it's been connected and uh, I've been testing it with both ways and uh, sorry if you see that blue right there, that's just some painter's tape that uh, I've used to kind of point the uh, antenna at an angle towards that guy's house instead of it laying flat against the window and shooting in this direction. I've got it angled in that direction, so it's pointing where I want it. But uh, I did have some Velcro that I used to mount this antenna on the, the outside window and uh, the velcro worked really well it held it in place it didn't move at all and then uh, for just testing reasons like i said i just put that blue painter's tape just on the edge of the antenna to kind of give it some tilt so it would be right in the direction where i wanted it to be and to be honest with you uh it just didn't seem to help but uh i'll go ahead and show you how i've got it uh installed uh, this cable here wraps around the desk here, goes up and in my closet, goes all the way across to the other side of the closet, and you can see that it is pointing in the direction of my bed. Sorry, my room's such a mess right now, I just moved in, but uh, the inside antenna is pointing right to where I want my signal uh, to be increased. And so, uh, I could not tell much anything out of it, truthfully. Um, I get one to two bars here at my house. I never get zero bars. I never get no signal. Uh, it's always one to two bars. So uh, I'm not sure why that this just didn't work. Uh, I did speed test after speed test with the Anna antenna, outdoor antenna connected with it unplugged you can see i've got it unplugged right now i've tested it and then i tested it with with no we boost and uh i'll go ahead and show you the numbers uh with no we boost i had two bars and that two bars was right over here at the window i took and i did the test with my phone sitting right here on the ledge right here just sitting right here and that's where i did the speed test 
and the ping was a 93, a 98, and a 92. The download speed was 58, 60, and 81. The up was 117, 104, and 84. Then I put the Wii Boost on with the, the optional antenna hooked up, and I still had two bars. It didn't give me any, any more bars. Um, the ping, you can see, it's 106. It got a little um, slower. Then it dropped down to 92, and then 85. It, it got a little faster. Um, now, these are going to fluctuate just a little bit, so do I think that it helped any? Very, very slightly, if, if any. Uh, so, you can tell uh, the download was 58, 60, 81, and on the up, it was 117, 104, and 84, and then you look down here, uh, 88, 72, 60, and then uh, for the up, 77, 99, 115. Then, uh, I unplugged the optional antenna just to see if just the uh, regular Wii Boost uh, would work just pointed uh, inside and with the the booster antenna in the closet right there where I showed you. And uh, I could not get any, any kind of improvement. I tried everything. Uh, I played around. I pointed the, the antenna in another direction just in case there was any kind of feedback uh, from being too close or any, any kind of interference. I pointed it uh, instead of pointing in this room, I pointed it, you know, this way. And then I went out in the hallway and tested it. I, I'm telling you guys, I tried and tried and tried to get this thing to work. I mean, I really, really, really wanted it to work. But uh, I just couldn't get any any numbers out of this thing. So um, I know WeBoost probably makes a good product. Uh, I just didn't have any luck with this particular one in my situation. Uh, I didn't see any kind of um, increase in bars. Didn't see any kind of increase in speed. So yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed with this particular product, uh, especially for 300 bucks. And uh, all my tests were done when my phone was at like a, a complete charge. So nobody can say, oh, your phone was run down. Nope, it was all at 100%. And I had a little, uh, I had my phone plugged in the whole time for all the tests. I've got one of those USB uh, uh, chargers. And so I kept it on my, in my, hooked to my pocket. And I had my phone cord plugged in just so uh, it would be at its uh, prime. And I never could, I never could uh, get any kind of results out of this thing. Uh, I know they make stronger boosters. This is just uh, their entry level booster. So maybe I need to step up and get something a little uh, more robust that uh, has more gain that can give me some uh, more bars and, and better signal. Um, so that's where we're at uh, as far as the Wii Boost Echo. Not too happy about it. So that's my review, guys. Uh, I know it was quick. It was a quick rundown, but I, I could have drew this thing out for an hour telling you all the testing that I did. And so, uh, you know, there's no need in all that. So that's the end of this video, guys. Uh, stay tuned for, tuned for my next one. Bye.